You go to the doctor for a routine test. Days later, you don't hear anything back and think, well, everything must be fine. Not always. Today on Delmarva Life, the story of a woman who almost lost her life because she thought no news was good news and what it means for you. And if you still need medical care after you're going home, wouldn't it be nice to have somebody in the medical community helping you and keeping you connected with your doctor? We're going to show you a service that specializes in just that. And this gal specializes in keeping seniors healthy. Coming up, we learn the healing power behind a pet. Well, if you have a pet lover on your shopping list, I got just a gift for you. This is Tux. He's only eight months old, and he's looking for a home for the holidays. Now we all know how powerful social media can be in connecting long lost friends and family, so it makes sense to use it to connect new faces as well. We're going to show you how one post made a connection some four hours away. Along with love, pets can also help save lives. We'll introduce you to a vet who found a life-threatening condition thanks to the furry guys and gals she takes care of every day. Hey, how about seeing this in your kitchen every day? We're going to tell you how this one-stop shop puts you in charge of hand-selecting your next kitchen investment and why all granite dealers are not equal. How about selecting one of these? Today we learn the story behind the Christmas symbol and how to properly care for your poinsettia. And Alex and Shiloh plus two are in the house to kick off the weekend. Delmarva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hopper. Welcome to Delmarva Life from Historic Studio D. You know, this is show number 613. That's a lot of shows we've done since wow. we started this show. And that's a lot of words that have come out of our mouths. And yes. Not always, those words are not always right. Sometimes we mispronounce them or whatever. It happens. Well, let me tell you about something that's been happening. Every time we have the Southern Delaware Corral on our show, I get right. a voicemail from a very loving, loyal viewer. Uh -huh. She says, oh, Lisa, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry, but you're... You're, you're saying it wrong. A corral is what you put horses in. Well, okay. This is a chorus. And and I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, I don't get to talk to her, but, you know, she leaves this right, voice right. message. Well, lo and behold, I had one waiting for me this morning. So I... I, I have to say that um, we talk to the people who are on the show, and they are indeed a corral. Further, I went to the <laughs> dictionary. Just to make sure. Just to make sure, and this is what I found. A corral is a hymn or psalm sung to a traditional or composed melody in church. Number two, it's a chorus or Okay. Now, the corral that our viewer is referring to is spelled C-O-R-R-A-L. So, so there is a corral. There is a corral. But this is a different but corral. I, I appreciate it because trust Thank me, you. I say some things that come out of my mouth, you yeah. never know. But this is one, you know, that, that so is So as right. always, thank you for keeping us thank honest. Thank you. That's and keep important. watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wanted to mention tomorrow. The New York Post says thousands of couples are getting hitched tomorrow nationwide because they want December 13th. 2014 as their anniversary date. Look at it there. Yep. 12, 13, 14. That's right. Okay. It's the last number sequential date until January 2nd, 2034. So Ooh. it's either tomorrow or wait until January 2nd, 2034 for <laughs> the cool wedding date. By the way, tomorrow's also my son's 22nd birthday. So oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday. That's to also you. cool. That is also cool. Very and you cool. know what else? It's cool. What else is cool? Trains, yes. model trains. You Very, like them. I, I like love them. them. <laughs> if you can't get enough of them, well, already known as the home of baseball legend J uh, Jimmy Fox, the Sudlersville Train Museum is now running their old fashioned Christmas train display. The trains, which are all Lionel models from the early to mid 1950s, were put together in a matter of days. Take nice. a look at that. Okay, so we are getting closer to Christmas and Centerville's Christmas Parade, which was rained out last week. They're having it tonight. As a matter of fact, just a little bit over an hour. Just Beat Community Band is going to begin playing music at the grandstand here in about 45 minutes. National Anthem comes up at 615. Parade steps off at 630. You still have time to get there. You know what would be a really cool holiday gift is to name one of the horses on Assateag. And you can that actually get cool. your chance. They This little foal, take a look at this guy here. He was born, the only one in 2014 that was born and he needs a name. So what they're doing is they're going to have an auction to give a name to the foal, which oh. by the way, they call right now like NH um, something or other. He right. has like numbers. <laughs> yes, he needs, needs a, a name. real name. So if you would like <laughs> to name this foal, go to our website, WBOC.com. We'll link you to a site where you can actually bid on naming that foal. Right. Now, if you are still Christmas shopping and need a little extra scratch, listen to this. Uh, 1969. Neil Armstrong became the first man to set foot on the moon, one giant leap for mankind. Remember that. Shortly thereafter, President Richard Nixon presents the first states, Delaware's, Apollo 11 lunar sample to then-Governor Russ Peterson. Okay. Now, 1978, 
The looter sample is stolen right off its display stand. Hmm. The reason I'm bringing all this up is the reward for the return of the missing moon dust is now up to $20,000. But it's only up until for the next month, like January 9th, I think is what it is. So if you're looking for a little extra Christmas money, start snooping. Just don't take the dust out of your vacuum cleaner and try to pass it on. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> okay, just in case you are dreaming of a white Christmas, <laughs> anybody can sled down a hill. But have you ever tried to dog in it? To dog in it. I love it. <laughs> Looks like and fun. Look and the, Not just the one, both of them do. Both of them get into it. We can do this. <laughs> we could to dog in it. We could do that. Sure. Just saying. Still ahead on Del Marva Life, it's the incredible story of one animal who was given a second chance at life from across the globe. How social media has impacted the world of animal adoption. And this is Sonia, and all she wants for Christmas is a new home. Coming up, I'll tell you how you can deliver her Christmas wish. Well, maybe your Christmas wish is for the health and safety of your loved ones. Next, we're going to hear the story of one young woman who went under the knife and how she became her own health advocate. But sometimes you need someone to step up and be your voice when it comes to health issues. Find out how members of your community can be there for you and why that support goes a long way in keeping you out of the hospital. Delmarva Life will be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.